Long, long ago, before history, before legend even, there was a battle between the elemental forces of Aether and the darkness from the Abyss. The fight reshaped the land and lasted for generations. The people of Aether came together, all tribes, all elements, and sealed the darkness away. They freely gave everything they had to save each other and the world. The Fallen and their treasures were buried deep beneath what is now Jewel's Veil. Vale. Now, countless fortune hunters and adventurers dive into the mines to find wealth and excitement. I fear they'll find a terrible darkness as well. Long, long ago, before history, before legend even, there was a battle between the elemental forces of Aether and the darkness from the Abyss. The fight reshaped the land and lasted for generations. The people of Aether came together, all tribes, all elements, and sealed the darkness away. They freely gave everything they had to save each other and the world. The Fallen and their treasures were buried deep beneath what is now Jewel's Veil. Vale. Now, countless fortune hunters and adventurers dive into the mines to find wealth and excitement. I fear they'll find a terrible darkness as well.
Long, long ago, before history, before legend even, there was a battle between the elemental forces of Aether and the darkness from the Abyss. The fight reshaped the land and lasted for generations. The people of Aether came together, all tribes, all elements, and sealed the darkness away. They freely gave everything they had to save each other and the world. The Fallen and their treasures were buried deep beneath what is now Jewel's Veil. Vale. Now, countless fortune hunters and adventurers dive into the mines to find wealth and excitement. I fear they'll find a terrible darkness as well. Long, long ago, before history, before legend even, there was a battle between the elemental forces of Aether and the darkness from the Abyss. The fight reshaped the land and lasted for generations. The people of Aether came together, all tribes, all elements, and sealed the darkness away. They freely gave everything they had to save each other and the world. The Fallen and their treasures were buried deep beneath what is now Jewel's Veil. Vale. Now, countless fortune hunters and adventurers dive into the mines to find wealth and excitement. I fear they'll find a terrible darkness as well.
Testing. Oh boy. One, two. Testing. Hello. Oh, hi everyone. Hope you're having a great week. Hope you're having a great Sunday. It has been a while since I last streamed. A lot has uh, gone on over the last uh, few weeks, but um, yeah, it has been it has been a hot minute. You hear me loud and clear. That's great. That's great. Thank you for the uh, thank you very much for the resubscribe. <laughs> very much appreciated. I'm going to try and do more streaming to uh, make up for that money. <laughs> but thank you. Before legend, right, even. Let's skip this. All right, this is. I'm gonna. I'm giving Undertale a bit of a break. I'm just gonna just go to the option screen here. I'm giving Undertale a bit of a break because um, due to events that have gone on with me and the predictable, I guess maybe ish nature of that game, I just can't kind of can't handle it right now. So I'm doing something completely different, and I'm doing a game that Mel <laughs> recommended to me. Well, recommended as in said, sort of thrust it under my nose and said, hey, here's a dragon, you might want to play this. I'm like, oh my god, that is a cool art style. That is a cool soundtrack. That is a, I've had the soundtrack for this game just kind of on loop for the last, god, I don't know, week or so while I just deal with stuff. But um, yeah, I figured I'd give it a go. I have no idea what this style of game is. I know you throw a lot of dice. That's about it. But <laughs> outside of that, I have no idea. You can always treat me a sandwich when we meet again if you don't think I'm getting my money's worth. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll throw Subway your way or something. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. So, Dungeons of Ether. Let's give it a go. So, ah. <laughs> Thank you. New game. All right. Difficulty. Mm, story. I can for players who want to focus on the story. Characters have higher stats and enemies have uh, never use advanced ah, abilities. Mm, I might go hmm, recommended for experienced players in strategy games. Enemies have advanced AI and abilities. Ooh, hard story. Okay. I'm going to guess story is normal mode, I guess. I'm not sure. Um, but... Hmm. Mal, you. What would you recommend the difficulty I maybe play this on? <laughs> story or advanced? Maybe I'm not doing hard or anything like that. So I guess maybe story or advanced. Story might be easy. Story for me. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'll take that. Oh yeah, it can be changed later. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Dungeons of Ether. Here we go. Come on. Come on. There's got to be some kind of incriminating evidence stashed here. Hey, who's there? Eliana? If it's you again, I swear. Eek! Hi, Shelby! <laughs> Good evening to you. How are you? How are you doing? <clears throat> I mean, you can't hide your evil deeds forever, you badger co lackey. Beg your pardon? Prepare to face justice for your crimes against Jules Vale. Oh, wait, I know you. You're that crazy vigilante who harasses folk around town. I'm Fleet, and I'm the Archer of Justice. My aim is always true. Uh-huh. Well, you missed the mark on me. I'm not with Badgerco anymore, and I certainly don't have any love for them. A likely story. Believe what you want. When I warned them they were being stupid and reckless with their mining operations, they fired me. I was. It was very public. I'm honestly surprised you didn't hear us hollering across ether. Oh-ho! Then you are a kindred spirit. You must delight at the thought of stopping their villainy. The one and only me. Hey, Octoberbot, how you doing? I wouldn't go that far. Although, I wouldn't be opposed to throwing Spanner in their works. It'd give the local businesses a chance to get back on their feet. And stop their vile industry from corrupting our fair town with their eldritch, um, vileness? Oh boy. So I streamed this a few days ago. Yeah, I, oh my god, the soundtrack in this is so good. If you love chiptunes, I'm a sucker for chiptunes. You're gonna love this soundtrack. Badgerco is definitely up to something, but I'm not gonna enable your power fancy just to see you get hurt. I can fight. This bow isn't just for show. I'm doing okay, been extra busy, and hating BSP. Two things can be one and the same. Uh, sorry, what's, what's BSP? So I'm not familiar with that, but, uh, well, I mean, if you keep them busy, I guess, good or bad, depending on what you're being kept busy with, I guess. 
<sighs> here, go a few rounds with my little training robot here. Let me see if you actually know how to use that thing. Binary space partitioning. Editor work stuff. Oh, don't oh, blame me, that sounds complicated. With pleasure. All right, training dummy. Let me explain how a pro does this. Watch and learn. I like to break a fight down into four stats. Attack, defense, accuracy, and speed. My stats are here on the left. And I'm guessing the dummy stats are like this here on the right. If my attack is higher than my opponent's defense, then I'll land the hit and maybe apply an effect. Side note, if my defense equals or is higher than the enemy's attack, I'll block them and be fine. Same goes for the opponent, though. Now, let's look at what we can each do. Hmm. All right. Strike. Abilities. All my skills are on the left, and, the all, and all the dummies are on the right. Right now, my attack is higher than my opponent's defense, so I'll land the hit. These show how much damage, DMG, character can take before fainting. Lecture's over. Time to apply that knowledge. You got it, Fleet. Uh, pick the strike ability to deal some damage. All right, deals one damage. So I've got an attack of three and my opponent's defense is one. So therefore, I win. All right. Oh, blocked. Thanks to my higher defense, I blocked my opponent's attack. Oh, because he's got one and I've got two defense. All right. Do you see how my guard ability wasn't available? That's because I didn't have enough accuracy. Last time I needed to throw a lot of dice, I needed about 30 plus dice. <laughs> Hope they all landed on the table for you. If one falls off, you got to re-roll them all again. That's the rule. So the higher my accuracy is, the more options I have. Last but not least, let's talk about speed. Whoever has the most speed goes first. This is crucial on effects that apply in the same turn. If I have the same speed as the opponent, I'll go first. Hero's initiative. Each turn starts with a dice draft. Each dice color matches a stat color. Okay. Well, they do land on the table after all. <clears throat> the entire six times four foot table is used for the game. Ah, I see. We've got the little corners around the table as well that stop things from falling off. We could do with some of them at the meet sometime. <laughs> all right, place. Oh, I rolled six. Or I guess the computer rolled six. So place, place the, place the dice next to your attack slot. Yeah. Now I've got plus six added to my attack. See that? The enemy is the enemy took a die too. Oh, did he take? The, oh, he took the same die from the same pool. Okay. Got to be strategic in your picks. I can use any colored die to give plus one to any off-colored stat. Move a six die down. Oh. Nice. Even if it is just plus one to my defense, that's enough to block my enemy's attack. I should still outpace him with my highest speed, but it doesn't hurt to be cautious. Oh, and any die with a value of one can only be used with their same color. Hmm, all right. Now to pick the last dice and finish the draft. Well, I've only got plus one with all of them. So, well, I mean, let's go with... Actually, no, my speed's the same. Oh, actually, no, he could take that dice, couldn't he? Uh, hmm. Aha, I'll go faster. And then... That one? Hmm. Oh, accuracy is up. Oh, no, it's the light in my room. Is oh, no! Uh-oh. I'm <laughs> getting a light bulb. All right. This is a light bulb moment for Shelby. Time to end this. All right. Hmm. Yeah! Strategic dragon. Yes. I also just lost a light bulb recently. Oh no. Enemies drop loot when defeated. Take the items to continue. Do I take them? I guess I can take them both. Peach grants two, st two stamina, all right? Oop, oh, all right, take it out, okay. 19 coins, all right. That was actually rather impressive. I know, right? You're all a quiver at my archery skills. Stop that. <laughs> Sorry. You might just be able to pull this off. First, I'm gonna clean up the mess you made in here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Can I help? Yeah, get out of my way for a bit. Right, I'll just swing by the inn and see if anyone needs help in the meanwhile. 
Ooh, all right. So we got, I just stole a miniature painter, AKA Peachy, a very friendly Brit. Oh, <laughs> nice. What's that? Oh, that gets rid of the menu. Menu. <laughs> Thank you. Journal. I've got to find and retrieve Ayala's blueprints from Badgerco in the mines. Can I open this? Oh, there we go. Accessibilities connect. Ooh, right. All right. Maybe I'll save that for in a bit. Give Peachy back. I watch his videos. <laughs> no, Peachy's mine now. <laughs> nah, no, Peachy's still mine. What's this? Oh, I am fleet. Okay. Bo, you have no gem equipped. All right. All right. In we go. Welcome. You can't explore the depths on an empty stomach or tired feet. Why not grab a bite and rest a spell? You'd be amazed how much more you can do after a little R&R. &R. Tell me the truth. Bed for a night. Ten gold grants three plus stamina. Heal. Or heal for ten? Or, hmm, well, I might as well stay for a night, I guess. Gives me plus five, plus three stamina. You need that rest, friend. Bed for a night. Ah, that felt great. Nothing like a nice rest to give me the extra stamina I need for the battles ahead. Slept well, huh? Oop. Uh, upgrade? Nope, can't upgrade. Back, I guess. All right, partner. What's the plan? We're not partners. If you're serious about this, first we need to do some reconnaissance. I'm sure Badgerco is modifying the designs I made for them. Intellectual theft? The fiends. More that they don't know what they're doing and somebody could get hurt. Head down into the cabins and see if you can find any blueprints. Are you sure we can't do something more, you know, more? I'm the Archer of Justice. How will anyone know about all the good I'm doing if there's no razzle dazzle? I've already dealt with one vain glorious hothead. Don't make me regret working with you. Sorry. Think of it this way. If we know how they're building and repairing their diggers, you'll know where to snipe the weak spots, right? Hey, yeah, now we're talking. Back in a flash. All right, down into the mine shaft. Got to find and retrieve Ayala's blueprints from Bajico in the mines. All right, floor one. I can press that to move to a room. Hold that to look around. Press tab to off toggle auto mode. All right. Ooh. Hmm. Can I pick that up? No. Somebody ahead. Nope. Hmm. All right. So we rolled. I will take. Oh, no. It needs to be in the same stat, doesn't it? How about, well, I'm going to take the four. Yeah, he took the three. Hmm. I can't pierce his defense with my current draft. Man, that is some Mega Drive-ass music. I live for it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But I can still salvage this. I can use my techniques to help myself out now or in the future. If I don't... I don't even need to land a hit to make them work. I better brace and use my guard this turn. Use guard to continue. Grants one, three defense die on the next turn. This won't connect. Hmm. Okay, I guess I take dice again. Oh, wow. Martin would be a rogue. Hmm. Oh, I see. Ugh, what is with these drafts? I don't have enough attack again. At least I have the extra defense die thanks to the technique I used last turn. But even using my two defense dice to increase my attack, I won't beat his defense. 
Eureka! The stamina I recovered at the, tam at the tavern can boost any of my stats. Any of your stats? Okay. Use your stamina to grant plus three to your attack during this turn. So just click that. Oh. Ugh. Still not enough. Wait. I still have the peach I won from the last battle. Eat the peach to recover more stamina. Now then. How about me? Increase your attack by repositioning the dice. Using your stamina and then connect with strike. Wow, this is complicated. All right. Hmm. So seven. Okay. How do I... Can I reposition the dice now? Oh, hang on. Increase your attack by repositioning your dice. Oh. Like that? Hmm. Can't use one dice. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> this is complicated. I'll get, I'll get it. I'll get it. Using your stamina. Using it. Yeah, give me a minute. <laughs> Oh, there we go. I can reposition more than one dice. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to take that six. Thank you. Whoa-oh. Their attack is more than my defense. I only have enough accuracy to do a strike. My speed is higher, so I should be able to end this fight first. Ah! I forgot enemies can use their stamina at the end of the draft, too. He's going to get the first hit. I'm out of options. As long as I don't lose all three hearts, there's always a chance to heal, though. Hmm. Yeah! Alright, did it. You unlocked a new attack. React on connect deals one damage, instantly grants two defense. Take advantage of your speed by instantly increasing your defense after a connect. Oh boy, this is going to get complicated, isn't it? <laughs> oh, ah, that's how I look around. Okay. Is that a treasure chest? It's got to have some useful items inside. To unlock it, I'll have to beat each stat number using my draft. Items and even my stamina. Whoa. All right. To unlock it, I'll have to beat each stat number using my draft. Items and even stamina. But I can re-roll my remaining draft only three times, so hopefully luck is on my side today. So I've got to beat that. Oops. Oh, this dice value won't be enough. Oh, I just met it. Okay. Six. Three. Oh, there's no way I'm beating that. <laughs> oh, I can re-roll. Okay. Five, six. I can open one more. Oh, I can open. Yeah, what's that say? I can open more locks before re rolling. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Got it. We unlocked a new attack. Focus grants one to a attack die on the next turn. Grants one to accuracy die on the next turn. Improve your chances to connect on the next turn to stage an all-out attack. Golden watch. Uses in battle, but valued at shops. All mine, thank you. Uh-oh. Uh, hmm. Don't have an opportunity to heal, though. Alright. <laughs> They're definitely going to land their next hit. I'm out of stamina to help my stats, but I can still use my speed to my advantage. Use React to increase your defense instantly when your attack connects. Yeah! That's why speed is of the essence. Oh, I love the artwork in this. The artwork is so nice. Oh, I can only use that move once, once a turn, I guess? Alright. Well, uh, let's have a look. I've got higher speed, and my attack breaks is this defense, so... Oh, whoops, I need to draft dice, okay. Hmm. Oh, wow, his defense is really high now. This won't connect. This is very GBA styled. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Ooh, okay. Never mind on that one. Uh, all right, need to think. Grants one, oh, defense three dice on the next turn. So that isn't going to be this turn, is it? Oh, it is, I think. Oh. <laughs> okay. One tip, you can see what they're doing, you're going to do on the bottom right and attack or something else. Oh, okay. Taunt. <laughs> nice. I'd have to guard again. Ah, I see, gotcha. Shoot. Well, I think he's going to go first. Oh, he dodged it. <sighs> okay. Hmm. All right, here we go again. Hmm. I'll take. If your defense is equal or greater than the opponent's attack, you'll block their attack. Alright, uh, okay, okay, I'm getting the hang of this, I think. <laughs> At least you went first, yeah? Uh, it's done. On connect, deals one damage, instantly discards one. Oh, discards one opponent's die. Grants one die of the discarded dice color on the next turn. Mess up your opponent's strategy while building your own for the next round. 
Ooh, interesting. Gem of Wind. Epic gem automatically discards all opponents plus one dice. Wow, that's funny. Mmm, an apple. All right. Ooh, a gem. I can embed it into my weapon for extra effect. This one will automatically discard any die with the value of one drafted by my opponent. They don't last forever, though, so I need to keep an eye on their durability meter. Let's equip the new gem. Oops. <laughs> okay. Whew. There's a doctor up ahead. I can recover all my HP. Hi, Doc. Ooh, it's going to cost me. Well, yeah, go on then. Can I talk to you? Nope. Ooh, shiny. There's a guy down there, though. I'll go... Oh, I can only go down. Oh, of course, because there's no door there. Right, okay. STA dice can be used within, in any slot while keeping their value intact. Oh, stamina dice, duh. Right, okay. Can be used in any slot while keeping their value intact. Hmm. Can he take that, though? Well, I'm going to take it, because... Yeah. I will take that one. But... Dice the first come. All right. So his... Well, his defense is higher than... Sorry, my attack is higher than his defense, so... Ooh. Hang on, didn't I get healed? I don't have my heal anymore. Or did I not do it right? I don't know. I never healed. Oh, didn't I? Oh, shoot. I thought I... Oops. <laughs> I screwed up. Oh. Hmm. Steal. Deals one damage instantly. Steals three gold from your opponent. Wow. Keep in mind when you need speed or not. Hmm, right. Um. <laughs> Thank you. That's one defense three. Ah! <laughs> Ow! Uh, hmm. Can't use. I can't use these yet. Oh, I don't have enough accuracy. Okay. Right. All right. Ooh. Okay. That's not good. Oh, our attacks are equal now. Wonder what that's going to do. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. Um All Right, need to think about this. Think very, very carefully. ones do I take? Hmm. I will take. Yeah. Figured you would. Hmm. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, my gem kicked in. Nice. Uh, I think I win. Oh, this won't connect. I want it connect. Not enough attack. Ah, okay. Oops, I didn't mean to click. Oh, shoot. That was bad. <laughs> All right. Oh, their defense is six. My attack is three. Right. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, my brain was ticking over then for a second. <laughs> if you could hear the engine noises, that was that. All right, you unlock to a new attack. Snack. Mmm, a snack. If stamina is three or lower, instantly grants three stamina. If stamina is four or higher, grants one attack, one accuracy, and one speed on the next turn. A great way to enhance your stamina if you can't connect on this turn. All right. Now, let's go back to that doctor and see... Right. Okay. Oh, and heal again. Yeah, sure. I don't want to do something stupid. Thanks, Doc. Ooh. All right, what's this? The Underground Bulletin. This is your intrepid reporter scoop bringing you the truth about the ins and outs of Jules Vale. There's been quite a hubbub around town lately. First off, the influx of new faces has the locals on edge. For every desperate wannabe miner looking to get rich quick, we have three more bandits looking to take advantage of them. The town guard can barely keep the peace. This isn't helped by Badgerco, which is only fueling the fire. The reckless issue of mining contracts has only emboldened the prospectors who don't seem to care they're losing 70% of their earnings to company president Badger. The local contractors are out of luck, as Badger Co. has muscled them out of the mines. Who can we turn to? Unfortunately, our best option seems to be the self-styled vigilante fleet. If you need someone to recklessly cause property damage or to rile up Badger Co., you can count on her to make a bad situation worse. Some of the locals say they appreciate the fact that somebody is standing up to the corporation, the corporate monolith, but just as many are tired of cra crashed, crashed in ceilings and errant arrows. This humble reporter can't speculate on how this will all shake out, but it's clear Jules Vale can't endure all these greedy ambitions. Hmm. Think all of the... But think of the content. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what animal scoop is. Um... It's the thing I keep outside the door for when the dog needs to go outside. All right. Hmm. Exploring, I guess. All right. Have at thee. Can you just attack without rolling any dice? That's... I'm going to try it. <laughs> I'm going to try it, see what happens. Oh, I need the draft dice. Okay. Never mind. I'm going to take... That one. Hmm, I see. Oh, hang on a minute. All right. Wow, that's that's a roll, isn't it? Ooh, all 
All right. Time to think about this. Oh, his accuracy is so high. Okay. And speed is higher too. Only thing I've got as a saving grace is my defense. Can attack buff up. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. All right. I will take that. Oh, hang on. Will I? Hmm. Actually, yes, I will. Yeah, and you're going to take that. <laughs> okay. Ah. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> ah. I can't block those. Okay. Um. Oh. oh, shoot. Oh, hang on. No, I should be okay. Yeah. All right, grindstone, rare. Restores gems durability. Okay. Ooh, how can I... Whoops. How can I tell what my gem is doing? Can I check the health of my gem? Maybe? Oh, the bar! Right. Oh, it's halfway down. Mm, I think it's got a bit more to go. Alright, chest. Shoo me. Goggles of focus. Epic equipment granted. Plus two die attack. And a two plus die accuracy at the start of the battle. That could be really useful. Oh, is that already equipped? I think it's equipped. Okay. Okay. <laughs> nice. good. Oh boy, <clears throat> he has a six. <laughs> this is... Ow, oh, denied. All right. Um, hmm, when in doubt, guard, I think. Oh, it's got... Oh, exclamation marks. Grow. Grants 2 plus 4 stat dem stamina dice on the next turn. Deals 1 damage, inflicts minus 1 to opponent's random stat on the next turn. Okay, getting noms. All right. Yeah, that definitely won't connect. Hmm. I mean, even if I did go all defense, it wouldn't work. 
Oh, hang on. His attack is higher than my... Sorry, his attack is lower than my... Def sorry. Blah, 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 blah. His attack is lower than my defense, so it shouldn't hurt me. But I'm going to guard anyway. Oh, man, these rolls stink. Okay. Uh, I'm taking that defense for sure. Oh, boy, he's going to come at me this time. Hmm. Oh no, my gem broke. Shoot, I should have used the thing. No, yep, never mind. Um, guess we're going nowhere again. Wow, those rolls. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, at least he can't. Yep. What dash should I take first? He's going to take that six. Oh, I know he's going to take that six, but I could... Getting there. Uh, oh, wow. His attack is six. Okay, I need to be very careful. Oh. Oh, boy. Not good. <laughs> Not good at all. use the cheese though oh I hang no, hang on no no his attack is way too high Oof. god time all right I gotta finish this guy off Get out of here. <laughs> you unlocked a new attack. Snipe. On connect deals one damage, grants two, three stamina dice on the next turn. Instantly grants plus two, right? Deals one damage this turn and can get a big flexibility bonus on the next turn. Ooh, another gem. On click, changes the highest value die on the draft to attack. Oh, that could be insanely good. Yeah, I did. Oh, that took half an hour. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Gold collected 81, loot acquired. I've got all this stuff and cheese. Best thing. To town. Here you go. Pretty impressive, am I right? Huh, nice work. I'll need to review what they've done to my designs, so give me some time. You do your thing, I'll do mine. I wonder if the merchant has anything I can use. Hey there! Don't just stop and stare. I've got fine wares from everywhere from a, for a fair fair. If you've got the gold, I've got the goods. To help the explorers more. <laughs> Alright. Well, aren't you? Aren't you adorable? Oh! Is that a golden watch? You know, I can also pay you a fair amount of gold for your leftover trinkets. Hmm. Alright.
right. Thank you very much. Yes, this is a fine watch. Now, why don't you invest your recently earned money into some helpful items? I think I will. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy back the watch, but what else can I get? Ooh. Shuriken? So I got 82 gold. I might buy one of each, actually. Ooh, legendary scroll. All of your dice become st stat. What's, is it stamina? Sorry, I missed the thing. Is, is it just, or is it just gold dice? I missed it. I'm gonna buy, oh, I've got limited inventory space, haven't I? Hmm. I'm gonna buy shuriken. Excellent, see you around. SDA stamina, okay. And I think I'm gonna buy me I'm gonna get me that scroll. Can I still buy stuff? No, I'm full. Okay. I'm back! I did anything interesting? More like distressing. What? What? Are they infusing their dastardly devices with the very hopes and dreams of the people of Jewel's Vale? What? No. They've taken my delicate precision machinery and overclocked it to the extreme. Ah, <sighs> story of my life. Anyway, this mega digger here is modified for maximum output, but zero safety. With power like that, they could destabilize the mines, cave in all of Jules Vale. They're doing a test run at the very heart of the caverns, fleet. You have to stop it from literally undermining the town. I'll bring it down, and anyone who gets in my way. Aya, Ayala says Foreman Kohler's testing site is at the bottom of the mines. I gotta find him and take him down. Um. Oh, I don't need to. Ooh, I should rest though. Need a room for the night? Sure. Oh. Why can't I. Why can't I rest? rest. Oh, it's at maximum. Okay, I guess I can't. Never mind. Alright, we're we'll back down here again. Oh! The bridge collapsed. These goggles don't break. They're really nice. All right, time to take stuff. is mine and the accuracy is mine nice uh, I'm down one health though inflicts one damage to the opponent only once per battle 23 coins all mine oh why can't I take you Oh, because I'm full. Cute. Didn't think of that. Oh man, I really want that item too. Um.
Well, guess I'm just going to have to leave it. Oh, there's the doctor. Yeah, give me a top-up, Doc. Thanks. Shopper's car. Oh, hang on a minute. I probably shouldn't have opened this because I haven't got any room. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, God, I'm crazy. All right, hang on. Can I use... Maybe I can use the apple. Or can I leave it and come back to it? Hmm. If your speed is equal or higher than your opponent, you'll avoid their attack during the next turn. Shopper's card. Oh, I don't think I can loot it again. Shoot! Oh no, I got greedy. <laughs> oh well. Never mind. Live and learn. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. Alright. Journal Entry 2. Scoop here with a retrospective on our omnipresent overlords, Badger Co. They own the mines, they own the town, and they own the Jewelsvale Gazette. Thank you for choosing me over that rag run by spineless co-towing editors. Go struck with the curse of the gold. Mm-hmm. Founded only 20 years ago, it was one of the many small businesses within the ever-growing Jewelsvale. Driven by innovation and bold new inventions, founder Alex Badger made numerous investments some of a dubious nature. To see his company flourish, Badgerco became the exciting new place to work and soon became the centre of town. Then came the buyouts, real estate, foodstuffs, utilities. It all became a subsidiary of Badgerco. In just a decade, everyone in Julesvale was working for Badgerco. Whether they knew it or not, those who spoke up were either muscled out of town or disappeared. And that's why your intrepid reporter Scoop is publishing this paper under a pen name. You can't bury the truth, but you can bury bodies. That's true. Alright. Speaking of bury... Hmm... <laughs> Get a load of this. Oh, minus two accuracy. Oh, boy. Okay. He's gonna have his go first, I think. Oh, yeah, with a speed of plus 10. Oh, instantly grants two defense, though. <laughs> oh, Shining Drain, thank you very much for the follow. How are you doing? Oh, shoot, that wasn't the right thing to do, maybe. Oh, no, my defense went up. Okay. going to sit in the corner and cry. No, I'm not. I'm going to up oh, that. I think I pretty much beat him on every everything there.
<laughs> oh, darn it. I'm still full. I should probably start using some items. Yes, okay. In future, start using, you start using stuff. Dungeon delving is going all right. I think I just made it to floor two. Oh, I should maybe... Hmm. Yeah, all right. Now, once you... <laughs> once you've... Uh, once you've gone to a chest, you can't re... You can't re-go back to it. All right, floor two. Oh, what games did I enjoy growing up? I love seeing people's gaming history. Oh, man. I grew up with the Sega Mega Drive. Uh, Sonic 1 was my first ever game. Back when I was a wee nipper. And um, I've been mainly just... Mainly Sega consoles most of my most of my life. Until, like kind of like the Dreamcast when they stopped. And then I was PS2 for a bit. And then went on to PC gaming, really. Um, but there's a whole load of stuff that I never got to try, because being European, games didn't come out. But nowadays they get really they get re-released and it's nice to get those collections and stuff, so I'm gradually catching up on the games that I miss. But I kinda like to play all kinds of games really because as a person who works in the industry, I feel like it's kind of important to get as many experiences as you can under your belt and learn from as many sources as possible. So I try and play everything, which is why, you know, I go from, you know, playing games like Fear and stuff to <laughs> literally this, which is so the opposite of that. So I try and play bits of everything, really. Right. Um... Speed is mine. Ooh. Aha. I grew up with the Nintendo stuff. Loved Super Nintendo, like Sonic, but loved Sonic even though I didn't own a Sega. All right, that's... Yeah. Oh, I liked Mario. Ah, I see. Yeah, we were never a Nintendo household. I think the first console we had was a Nintendo 64. My first Mario game ever was Mario Tennis <laughs> on the GameCube. Uh, sorry, not GameCube, Nintendo 64. Hi, Shelby. You get food? We can place that bulb as well. Oh boy, these are stinky rolls. Hmm. We used to buff any other stats. All right. You can see now how good. I don't think we're going anywhere this turn. This turn is stinky.
I'm gonna focus. Cause you can't hit me. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm taking that. And you can't outclass me. Yeah. Oh, I had 10 stem. I couldn't go any higher. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Never mind. Uh, right this way. Growing up mainly Nintendo consoles, loved platformers and all that, but really loved RPGs for the longest time. Yeah, RPGs, RPGs are cool. Um, we got the big hitters, but we never got stuff like. Uh, a lot of Sega Saturn stuff we never got. Um, but thankfully we got Prince of Dragoon Saga, so I'm happy with that. That's that's probably my favourite uh, favorite JRPG that came from that era. Right, everyone loves Final Fantasy VII, but I think Prince of Dragoon Saga is a bit better. But that, that's just me. Alright, what's this? Journal Entry 3. Your beloved truth seeker Scoop is here with an exclusive interview. I was able to sit down and speak with one of the few people to be fired by President Badger himself. For her safety, I'll be calling her Miss A. Bunny. Alright, I wonder who that could be. I was a technical and mechanical designer for Badger Co. A, uh, Miss A. Bunny tells me. They were, they were looking for automated digging solutions. I provided them with a variety of designs meant to keep the operator safe and to move material at a reasonable rate. Safety and reasonable were criteria they weren't terribly concerned about. Oh, it's funny. I like Final Fantasy VII, but love 2D RPGs more. I think Breath of Fire 3 and Suicoden. Yes, I need to... Oh, boy. I need to play those. I, I have them on my shelf. But getting games is a good hobby for me. Playing them, less so. RPGs is why I'm happy to play PC and Sega. Got to experience both JRPG and the big heavy hitters of the RPG genre. Yeah! Mm, oh, man. There are some really good games I need to get around to. Uh, Miss A Bunny then dropped a juicy tidbit. I think there's something else going on. Ever since the first Amsidian ingot was unearthed, Bajiko has been ramping up excavation to an insane degree. It can't just be about profits. The fervor they have for gutting the mines is illogical, almost obsessive. What is it that Bajiko could really be after? What's driving them to push to such depths? Your intrepid reporter Scoop will let you know. Oh god, my scroll, my thing is not scrolling. Black Isle Studios made some of my favorite games. Oh yeah, uh, Planescape Torment, Baldur's Gate, Icewind Dale, that kind of stuff. Breath of Fire is a great series, not just because you can turn into a dragon, but the world is full of tons of races. Yeah, yeah, Breath of Fire is definitely on my playlist. I've got Breath of Fire 1 and 2 on the Game Boy Advance because I don't think they ever got a European release on the SNES. Not that I have a SNES, but... They never got released, so I've got the Game Boy Advance version of those, and I've got three and four for the PlayStation. Definitely need to play those at some point. That will be a stream that I do here. All right. Hmm. All right. What you got for me? Ooh. Well, I think I won out all of those. Oh, hang on, his attack is eight. Ooh. Hmm. Oops. Black House does. Oh yeah, they made Fallout One and Two, which are still some of my favorite games. Yeah. I think I'm going to swap these out and then put that here. I'll swap the three and six damage. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, I could be mean. <laughs> I could be mean and discard one of his dice. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> but that's what that does. All right. I mean. <laughs> Make sure your defense matches theirs. Mm hmm. Well, defense 8 3, 2 8. I mean. Ooh, okay. Ah, sure, that didn't work out. <laughs> Nine to eight, but four to two, so we're both going to take hits. Ugh, unless I guard. Oh, got an empty bottle. I'm going to be able to sell that. Around 99, 2000, I found out about emulation made me really appreciate all the retro games I missed out on and arcade games too. Yeah, a lot of the Japanese games as well. Like, you get some of those downloaded and get a fan translation on them. Like, Square, you need to remake Bahamut Lagoon. You won't, you cowards, but you should do it anyway. Need speed. Bye bye. Yeah. What's this? Potion of speed. 18 coins. Thank you. Well, I was pretty bad about party games in the 2000s, but now I want to support game devs as well again. Yes, please, please support us. Like, food, food isn't free. Who are you? I pay a fortune for food. Item wanted food. Um. <clears throat> okay. What happens if I give you an apple? Bless you, traveler. 25 coins? My god, that was kind of worth it, actually. <laughs> Oh, look at him. He's happy. He's got his apple. Oh, that is adorable. All right. I'm not done exploring yet. Something shiny over there. This dude is good now. Yeah, look at him. He's got his apple. He's so happy. That ain't gonna connect for you, Buster. Sorry. Hmm. Okay. Oops, sorry. My sense now is if I don't have any way to buy the game outside eBay, it's free range because I don't have the money for collecting. If the game is indie, I would just shell it to him back. Yeah. 
I mean, oh boy, some games are ludicrously expensive now. I'm watching the NTSC game market absolutely explode right now, but the PAL market is not kind of as bad because for some reason nobody likes PAL, even though it's the same game, it's just a bit slower, but I mean... I suppose if you are from, like, the PAL regions, you can kind of ignore it because it just doesn't feel that much different, but maybe you feel it more when you're coming from purely you know, NTSC old console speeds and stuff, but it's never really bothered me that much personally. Alright. We both have seven and we both have two. <clears throat> On the Fire Emblem game for GameCube. Oh, that's um, Fire Emblem Radiance, isn't it? I think I might have a copy in the front room. I'm not sure though. I have so many games I'm literally losing track of what I have. <laughs> yeah. Alright, what did I get? Smoke bomb. Escape from a fight. Can't be used against bosses. 18 coins. Alright. Drop the bottle. <laughs> what games do you own? I need to show. Next play. Yeah. Yeah. I got a lot of collecting out of the way before it got stupid. Like, oh boy. I think the best one I have is I bought Panzer Dragoon Saga. Uh, I bought it for £70, which I think is about maybe 100 US dollars back, I would say, about 15 years ago. It is, I think, now. 10 times that price. At least for an NTC copy. It's just insane. And because they'll never re-release those Saturn games, it's just, it's it's actually kind of painful. All right, what's, what's the shiny thing here? Can I do anything here? Nope. Oh, it's just an effect. All right, okay. Go to input the code. Uh, I'll skip for now. Hmm, maybe I'll find the code. Excuse me, sir, do you have the code? Nope, guess not. Wow. Hehehe. <laughs> I'm getting used to this. I'm liking this. I'm vibing with this. This is good. Saturn collecting, I would kill for Shining Force 3 and Shining the Holy Ark. Albert Odyssey, yes. Yeah, Albert Odyssey we never got. Um, Shining Force 3, yeah, I can imagine, oh man. I can imagine those are all expensive now. Um, the one working designs games Europe did get is, oh god, what's it called? Um, Dragon Force, that's it. We got that. Um... Although, I, I do have a copy of that, but unfortunately, it started to rot. Uh, it's still playable, but it's on its way out, unfortunately. Um, of Lightning. Can I drop this bottle? Yep. Drip that. Take that. Yeah. Yeah, nothing stop it when it starts. For, yeah. It's a shame. It only affects the intro, though. I don't think any of the rest of the game is affected, but honestly, that game is so complicated, I dare not even try it. Like, I got it ages ago 
because it had, you know, dragons in it. But I was just like, this is so complicated. And my copy then didn't come with the instruction manual. I have picked up a copy of the instruction manual since, but that game is just so complicated. It's just like insane. I, I, I will maybe have a go at it at some point, but it intimidates the heck out of me. I think it's all well and good, but sadly Disc Rod is more of a ah thing. Yeah, it is. To be honest, it's not really worth collecting Saturn games anymore. They, especially American ones, they just rot. Um, I think European games might be safe because I think they were printed a bit better. Um, being said that, uh, it depends on the kind of printing, I guess. Like some games had this fancy disc art on them that didn't print on the whole of the disc. It's like, it's, it's weird, but uh, depending on what kind of print there was on the surface of not the not the data side, but the other side where the kind of the disc is on or whatever. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of random. Thankfully, Panzer Dragoon Saga is fine, but I have a copy of Rayman that's rotted in like eight places. Uh, still works though. But uh, yeah, it's just, it's not worth collecting those anymore. Let's have a look around. Anything in here? Nope. Bed for a night? Hmm. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> just plop in the water. <laughs> What's this? Journal entry four. They say justice is blind. That might explain why Jules Vale, safe proclaimed Archer of Justice, misses the mark so often. In this week's latest debacle, the arrow flinging rogue claimed Fleet confronted a team of Badgerco tenant enforcers. The corporate goons were set to evict another batch of locals when Fleet descended upon them with a flurry of arrows and curses. While your friend Scoop has no love for Badgerco or its heartless lackeys, the situation was only made worse by Fleet. After the battle, much of the living complex was wrecked forcing the tenants to move out anyway. Badgerco Demolitions was swiftly summoned to condemn the damaged property and set it to be raised. What will go up in its place? You guessed it, Badgerco Property's newest set of premium priced housing. Will the former occupants get access to these new units? Or at the least a discount? Of course not. Will Badgerco Reality Realty sorry, get called out for hogging all the living space as rental units? Definitely not. And will Fleet be held accountable for making things worse? That's a hat trick of nope. And one silver lining is local philanthropist Randall will be paying for temporary lodging of the displaced locals. Hmm, this Fleet character is a bit, uh, a bit gung-ho by the sound of it. Can I not... Guess I'm not tired. All right, where am I going? Oh, he's still got his apple. I'm. I love that sprite. He's so cute. All right, I'm going. Oh. Two attempts left. Can I go... I think I might be able to go up floors and then come back down. I'm going to guess the code is up here somewhere. Oh, that's where I came in. The code... Oh, the code is around. Okay. Gotta find it. Now, how are we all uh, how are we all doing in chat? We've all had a all had a good week, I hope. Time to click around for a bit. Oh! There it is. 
I think. Squirrel? Is that a squirrel? And something else. Oh, it's where I can see it, I think. So, yeah, they're shiny. I had an annoying week. Gave up trying to get my painting done to the 18th. Got days with no water. They're working on the pipes. Oh, oh no, that sucks. I'm good on wine material. Oh, thank you. Just testing him while reading some stuff. Oh, that's nice. Well, all right. Glad I could entertain. <laughs> thank you. So we've got squirrel. Squirrel, I think, what well, looks like a fox. And something else. I can't quite make it out. Oh, shoot. I did it again. Uh, right, i got to get it right this time. Uh, squirrel. That. I can't believe it's open. And I got an achievement. Bunker Burglar. All right. Pan. Legendary equipment. Food items recover one HP in addition to current effect. Hey, I got a pan. Nice. It's nice to be entertained by the one you entertain. <laughs> yep. I was dealing with some stuff this week. Nice to relax with the dragon. Very fun to watch. Oh, thank you very much. All right. I think... I think we're out of here. Checkpoint saved. Return to surface. You can resume from here later. Um... No, I'm okay. Ooh, doctor. Thank you. Right. Ooh, a bigger picture. All right. Jules Vale is nested in the northern foothills of the Archai Mountains, meaning we don't get a lot of traffic. The local shops are used to catering to the odd wall runner on the supply run or dealing with the pushy soldiers of the air armada. armada. Even with the influx of treasure hunters, the keen eye of Scoop, your ever-observant reporter, can spot a truly unusual visitor. In recent days, I've spotted a unique-looking woman asking questions about the recent Amsidian rush and Bajako's mining efforts. She keeps to herself and disappears as quickly as she appears. Only once, when confronted by some of Bajako's goons, did I witness her devastate them with a flurry of crystalline crystalline attacks. I've done some digging. Both her attire and fighting style seem to seem similar to the fabled warrior monks of Crystal Oasis. According to legend, they are Jules Vale's neighbor hidden somewhere in the Archai Mountains, just south of the rock wall. Could it be that the Crystal Oasis exists? Is this the is this is the mystery mystery woman an emissary, scout, savior, or something more sinister? You can count on Scoop to get you the answers. Hmm. We will see. All right. What we got? Oh, whoops. <laughs> All right, okay, never mind. Hmm. I'm going to take that because I know you're going to take it. Oh, right, okay. There we go. Uh, I did a brain fart for a moment, but I got it. Ooh, 
I'll take, yeah, I'm taking attack. Stinky brain. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter because I'm going to win anyway. Thank you very much. Ooh, I got a peach. Oh, wait, no, I'm full. Hmm. My gem's still fine. Um. I'm good. All right, what else is around here? No, I'm not going to go in there. Because that means I will lose everything that's in that chest. Let's see what the other attacks do. Some of the attack effects that boost you sometimes give you stam. Hmm. Yeah, I will. I will read those. Oop. Ah, this looks serious. Mm, I think he's the boss. So if I use potions outside of battle, will it give me them for my next turn in a fight? That's, like, that's what I guess I'm curious at, because... Oh, no, I can't use them. It says drop. Right, never mind. Disregard that question. <laughs> Hmm. Do I have a place to store stuff? I don't think I have a home base to store things. Alright. This guy looks serious. He's got a he's got a digger and everything, so. Halt, vile fiend. This dig site is for unauthorized personnel only, Missy. Get lost before you get hurt. I don't think so, Foreman Cola. I hold you responsible for your crimes against Jules, Jules Vale's well-being. Wait a minute. You're that brat who is always harassing my staff. It's not harassment, it's justice. I'm the hero, darn it. You're a nutcase. First I'll deal with you, then I'll bury what's left during excavation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't believe that he's chasing me on. This is so funny. All right. No. Oh, he's got boosts. That's not good. Strike deals one damage. Taunt inflicts minus two accuracy. Deal. Instantly seals three gold. All right. Oh, wow. Those are rolls. Ooh. 
Hmm. How do I... How do I use that? Says can be used to buff any other staff. The yellow. Oh my god! Of course, the pluses, right? Shoot! I completely forgot about that. Oh my god! Okay, I'm I'm a I'm a dummy, Dirk. All right. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Ooh, all right. Hmm. Dude, he took the gold. <laughs> well, I'm screwed. <laughs> How must I do that? <laughs> Oh, his attack is eight, though. Hmm. Wait a minute. Think about this. Use your items. Curious as to see how long this mind track is going to go on for. <laughs> so he's got a boost of five now. I was kind of screwed. Oh, that's going to hurt. Can't reposition dice either. Color is tough, you'll surely beat him next time with better items. You can get plenty at the shop and be sure to loot as many enemies as you can. Well, I'm I'm toast. <laughs> oh.
Ouch. Alright. Try again. This dirk is toast. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> not helping. No. no. Right. Read that. Time to restore strength. Yep. Oh, we gotta fight those guys again. Eh, it's not, not that bad. Practice. I'm an elf, I'm supposed to be awful. in Dark Sun are the worst, at least not as bad as Halflings in Dark Sun. Oh, Dark Sun, that was a game that you, you showed me uh, earlier on, wasn't it? I remember that. Alright, uh... Man, the elves in... We code in our racist. <laughs> Alright, fine, let's see what's in here. Oh, I didn't carry anything. Oh, hang on, can I just. I haven't got any more fights, so I'm just gonna drop this. Yeah, get, get out of here. Alright. Phoenix Feather prevents lethal damage once, then breaks. Ooh, that might be good for this fight, actually. Oh, it goes in there. Okay. Elves and Dark Sun have become apathetic about the world due to the point. They don't care that they're helping the world end. Oh, man, right, blame me. Okay. Oh, I can only pick one. All right, fair enough. I think I got the best item out of all of that. All right. Let's fight you again. Stacking things on top. You're mean. All right. 
Shoot, I was hoping you wouldn't take that one. Stacking the dice up. Hmm. All right, think about this. Think, think, think. Hmm. Strong deals two damage. Ouch. All right. Connect because my accuracy isn't good. Now it will. And do some other stuff. Right, what else? What else can I do here? Hmm. Hard. <laughs> so they use magic defilers that are no better than the elves and ducks, and then mm. boost up. I'll oh, put the yellow die in defense. Mm. Focus. Mm. I see. You're going to play it that way, huh? All right. <laughs> I'm doing my best. All right. Got all these things. All right. Attack nine to three. Prince, oh, seven to two, though. Ooh, react. Deals one damage, instantly grants two defense. Oh, well, no, he's got an attack of seven. That isn't really going to help, is it? Oh, he went first, didn't he, of course. Ah, uh, never mind. Oh, I need that defense. <laughs> Have I ever told you I'm no good at these? <laughs> All right. So, uh, my attack is not beating him. Might have to yeah, focus up again. All right.
Nine to eight. Three to four. I should be okay. I think. All right. Ooh, that's six. He's going to take the five. Mm -hmm. But I will take... It's, it's all about the speed at this point. Oh, I might... Do I have enough? I think I have enough to squeak it. Oh, we dodged it. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go nowhere. I mean, we're both going to block this, aren't we? So. I think. <laughs> I'm scared now. I'm scared to press the button because I'm probably going to do it wrong. <laughs> Two. So that 2 ain't beating that 9, but his 3 ain't beating my 11. We're both going to just block. Alright. Uh, okay. Do still have this scroll. All your dice become stamina dice. I've got to use that carefully. My speed outweighs him. Shoot. Hmm. Got no stamina either. So, he's only got three attacks, seven defense, so he can't, he can't do anything. But I can't do anything either. <laughs> Stupid whatever you are, I've forgotten what you are. garden again. I gotta finish this guy off.
Oh, heck. <laughs> It's six to six. It's one to my six. Where? I'm going to hope that focus does it. I can move the three. Oops. Oh, seven to six. Oh, that might do it, actually. Let my aim be true. How? All you have is the bow. And a hero's ambition. You're insane. You're worse than the old man Randall. Hey now, Mr. Randall is a pillar of the community. You could learn something from his generosity. That geezer throws around his head simidon like it's nothing. He's going to ruin the market rate. You're hopeless. Oh well, my work here is done. Wait! How am I supposed to get back to the surface? You can walk, like the rest of us. Yeah, I did it! <laughs> that was exhausting. Ooh, Chief Apron? Hmm. Gem of Smoke? Oh, I can take all of them, alright. Gem of Smoke. Opponent can't draft stamina dice. Oh, what's that? Chief Apron grants one extra stamina after using a food item. Um, I don't think I can carry that. Oh, I can. That took an hour. <laughs> Nice. To town. I heard a lot of commotion echoing up from the mines. What happened? I single-handedly brought down Pachiko's mecha monstrosity. Also dealt a lethal blow to Foreman Cola's pride. Wow, you actually pulled it off. Was there ever any doubt? Frankly, yes. But I'm happy to be proven wrong. Well then. What's our next target? Partner? A supply line? Oh, rob their treasury? No, take down the company president. We are not partners. Pajiko isn't going away overnight. If you want to help me dismantle the grip on Jules Vale, you'll have to have some patience. But I'm the hero. And you are... Are you doing this for Jules Vale or for yourself? Well, obviously, we're done here. Pardon me, young miss. Might you be the legendary hero of Jules Vale? Oh my gosh, Mr. Randall, you've heard of me? The Bowman Bandit? The community thief? Robber of the rich and the people's hearts? <coughs> yes, that's me, Fleet. I'm the Archer of Justice. How can I help, Gramps? I am in dire need of your aid. A, a darkness grows in Jules Vale. I knew it! I had hoped to enlist the help of some others, but each one betrayed me. Hold on, good sir. Back it up. Tell me everything. Sometime earlier. <clears throat> Champion unlocked. Slade. His high speed allows him to emerge unharmed from battle as long as he has enough stamina. Oh, all right. <gasps> Got... Somebody there? We got, we got dragon here. We got dragon, dragon alert, dragon alert, everyone. There's a dragon over here. Can't get him yet though. The community loves Slade. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's putting my heterosexuality to the test. So this is Jules Vale, eh? Feels claustrophobic for my tastes. If the stories be true, the riches here are beyond imagining. And I'll need a hefty haul of Ancidian to complete my quest. Thankfully, that old man over there is both the talk of the town and apparently loaded with the stuff. Avast there, old timer. I hear you're the one with what I need. Hmm. 
that depends on what you need, young man. Stone that glitters with the unearthly darkness. A gem that's so valuable it's made it all the way to merchant port. I'm talking about Amsidian. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, you mean this? Red sky at night. How do you have so much? I have my sources. There are many eager souls who have a good eye for treasure and know what's needed to bring it in. I could be such a soul. <laughs> I like that spirit boy. So much so, I'll let you in on a little secret. There's greater riches to be found. All ears. Well, you don't have ears, but go on. The fabled drop of nourishment is said to rest at the heart of the underground oasis. Not only is it uniquely rare, it allegedly has miraculous properties. Would my plan work better with that over the Amsidian? I desire this relic very much. Fetch it for me, and I'll reward you handsomely. Take this as an advance. That's quite a generous advance. It's worth it. Find me the drop of nourishment. Return home with a boatload of treasure. I'm sure I'll know when I see it. Get the rest of the Amsidian ready for payout. I won't be long. New item, Amsidian. This orb prevents, presents you an interesting choice. You may either upgrade any building by entering it in handling and handing Amsidian over to the owner or consume it yourself to gain stamina. Hmm. Ah, interesting. Might be good to... Oh, that's what that upgrade button does, right. I have wares from everywhere. Hmm. Well, I have nothing, so I could do with some. Keep one of your dice until the next turn. I'm going to buy one of everything. What else can I explore? There's a blacksmith or something over there. And I'm not sure what this is yet. Hmm. A dragon spending his hard-earned gold? I know. The sky is still blue. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Upgrade. Upgrade to level two. Two recovered stamina. I might upgrade the shop, actually. I'll stop better items, are you sure? Yes. Oh wow, you just happen to have them there, all right. Nothing's in the chest. Scroll, peach. Oh, bandana. I love the shopkeeper designs. Yeah, they're neat. What does the bandana do? Pay two stamina exchange for a random stamina die. All right. Interesting. I'm gonna take a peach. And I will rest. There we go. You're dead, Mr. Whoever you are. Bye. So Slade plays a lot different than Fleet. Ooh. The old man says there's some shard hidden in the underground oasis. I need to find it. Never try to con a pirate, old man. Nobody is that generous or trusting. Something's not right. It's been a long, strange voyage since I left my home in the Polkai Islands. I've sailed as far north as Merchant Port, then all the way west until I could sail no more. Now my sea legs have carried me all the way to the all the way inland to Jules Vale. I prefer the thought of taking the drop of nourishment for myself. This Amsidian might be the key to getting everything I want. Something about them is sinister. I just have to keep my wits about me. Treasure hunting is never without risk. And that's what makes it so much fun. Alright, well let's see how Slade plays. Oh my god, the music is so good. It's so good. It's so good. 
defense dice will only grant me plus one no matter what slot I place them in. What a bummer. Who needs defense when I've got dodging? <laughs> This character has a special ability which is indicated by his shark icon. Defense dice always grant plus one. If speed is higher than opponent and can't block, will auto dodge at the cost of three stamina. Hmm. Squat. Instantly grants two defense. Grants one attack die on the next turn. If blocks this turn, instantly grants two stamina. All right. So, defense doesn't matter, sort of. Slade is all about Stamina management, okay. Deals three gold from the opponent. Sprint grants one, two. Accuracy die on the next turn. Grants three speed die on the next turn. Slash. Deals one damage, instantly inflicts minus two to all opponent's stats. Instantly grants plus one stamina. Slash does sound as if it's going to be my friend. Oh, it needs an accuracy of five, I think. Yeah. Well, I don't need gold right now. I think I'm fairly good on that. thinking. <laughs> this is definitely not an action-y game, is it? This is definitely a game you have to stop and read <laughs> and think, which I kind of like. Leaves a lot of dead air, though, so sorry if I'm quiet. Hmm. I'm sinking. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, that doesn't matter, does it?
Yeah. All right. Do launch a new attack. Bribe. Spend five gold to instantly grant two defense and two stamina for each die in the defense slot. Oh. That's interesting. Use your merchant abilities to negotiate stamina and defense in exchange of gold. So I will need gold maybe a bit more. Doctor over there. Hmm, this guy ahead might be a bit of a challenge. Ooh, that's a juicy six. His eight beats my three. Sorry, my eight beats his three, but his four beats my one. His speed is higher than opponents, which it is. Can't block. Auto dodge at the cost of three. Ooh, all right. Defense is equal or greater than the opponent's attack, you'll block their attack. Oh, but he's got one now. Um. Oh, let's see what he can do. Sprint. Grants one, two accuracy die on the next turn. Grants one, three speed die on the next turn. I get. Blurry. On connect deals one damage. If possible, we'll spend 10 gold to deal an extra damage. Ooh. Keep the flow of the battle while putting your gold into a more powerful strike. That's juicy. A 
What's this red gem? Oh yeah, I got this one before, didn't I? Changes the heist value die on the draft to attack type. I will equip that. Yeah. Do me a heal, thank you. Right, can't forget that uh, treasure chest down there. Oh, should I try and fish here? Um, no, not yet. Is that the way off the floor? I think it might be. Oh, fine. What's in the What's in the chest? Pick one. Ooh, steal upon it. Oh, the goggles! The goggles are back. The goggles. They do things. They do uh, good things. I'm taking the goggles. Uh, all right. I guess I'm going fishing. <clears throat> I caught something. Fish. Oh, but I can't do anything with the fish. Hmm. Huh. Do defense potions work for Slade? If his defense stuff is a bit weird, I wonder if the defense potions do anything. Do you know what? I think I want the fish. Ah! <laughs> Ooh. Hello there, friend. Oh no, you're not a friend, are you? You're exactly the opposite. Oh, those goggles are going to be such a big help. What do I want? Oh, you're going to boost, are you? Hmm. All right. Minus two to all stats. gonna go first but now he's not huh you surprised me I thought you would have taken the defense dice
Oh, wait a minute, they get locked in. Oh, I can't swap these guys around. Ooh. Oh, because he's got fishing net. Opponent cannot relocate drafted dice. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, he throws a net on the dice. Interesting. All right. Thank you. All right, what's this? <clears throat> there have been a lot of new faces in Jules Vale, and with them come stories from abroad. Your keen-eared reporter, Scoop, has heard many a tale. While most Jules Valians have at least heard of the other nations on the continent, or at least heard of the other nations on the continent, you'd be hard-pressed to find one who's heard of the lands beyond. This was news even to me. Far to the south is an island chain called the Polke Islands. I've heard that people there live in small island communities, living off the land and harvesting from the waves. Many of these islands are volcanic, which from my understanding is like the Archai Mountains, only full of fire and explosions. Nobody tell Emperor Loxodont, we don't need him getting ideas. It may sound like a tropical paradise, but your ever-attentive scoop has heard the islands are menaced by pirates. Think Air Armada with less ships in the air and more in the water. Some even sail as far north as Merchant Port to rob ships of their cargo. It's a good thing Jules Vale is so far inland. Am I right, readers? Yeah. Alright, uh, let's go for a wander. Uh, can I not go over there? Oh, that's where I've... Oh, that's where I've been already. Okay. Alright, floor two. What do you want? I'm dying of thirst. Potion item. Oh. Well. Oh, bottle of water. Go on then, I'm nice. Bless you, traveler. 27 coins. Alright. Oh, he's good, he's water, he's happy. Whatever he is. He's an otter, I think. Can I try fish here? Yeah. I think I caught something. I got a boot. Nice. Who knows? Maybe I can sell that for money. <laughs> Oh, it's no way. Oh, the name's at the top there. Oasis Lurker. All right. Hmm. Well, this isn't going well. No, 
not going well at all. <laughs> okay. Ah, could, could stat boost though. Potion. Yeah, Scott gives two defense. Mm hmm. Yeah. got a new move what are you weaken if damaged inflict minus three defense to the opponent on the next turn Ooh, that sounds nasty all right what am i gonna take nope don't take defense that's pointless <laughs> I think. I said, no, I might just use a cheeky one. Yeah, all right. Mm. Let's get rid of the bottle. I'm determined to keep this boot. <laughs> Bed for a night? Hmm. No, I'm all right. It's opening up a little. Item wanted special item. What is a special item? Over my goggles. Uh uh. <laughs> On the boot? <laughs> nope. What goes in a giant clam? Um. Idiots. Or. Something else. Looking for those great big oils. I'm going to assume that these three are my special items, but I ain't giving them my goggles. Mm -mm. I might be able to find something infidels. <laughs> right, let's go for a wander. There's three equipment. Ah, I see.
I will. Ooh, it's like six though. Hmm. Need constantly reminding of this thing. If speed is higher than opponent, you can't block or auto dodge at the cost of three. All right. If your defense is equal or greater than the opponent's attack, you'll block their attack. Okay. What what is the requirement for dodging again? Speed is higher than the opponent. Can't block. Okay. Hmm. So if your speed is higher than theirs, you spend three stats to. Okay. Do some squatting. Yeah, if you can't defend with squat, you'll get stamina back. Mm hmm. I think I might be squatting this time. Boost it, are you? Well, I got my stamina back. Oh, man, no attack. <laughs> no attack this round at all. Okay. outcome would be here. These die in the defense slot. Hmm, that's not going to be any use to me because I don't have any die in the defense slot.
I'm literally taking them so he can't take them. <laughs> It'll connect now. Fish. Mm. Oh, okay. Sorry, boot. I'm getting rid of you. Fish, fish, fish. I got a fish. I'll keep that. Whoa. You're a big one. A shop? Oh. He looked much more threatening than that. Oh, he's kind of got a smile on his face, so. Uh, I see. Mask. Cursed mask. Rare equipment. Grants a four accuracy die and one stamina die at the start of the turn if HP is equal to one. I'm all right, thank you. Oh, what did you want? You wanted a special item. You want a fish? Nope. Show what clam friend here wants. Yet. Hmm. I think I'm all right. Presses, which is what I shout to myself as I, your ever diligent truth slinger scoop, discover something huge. Apparently the pirates of the South Ocean, the scallywags of the eastern tides around Merchantport, have arrived in Jules Vale, landlocked mountainous Jules Vale. Okay, to be fair, I've only heard about one. Nevertheless, a pirate sailing, sailing all the way from the Polke Islands to our fair town is unthinkable. On second thought, maybe not. Given the surge in rogues and bandits driven by the recent mining rush, it is, is it really that far-fetched that another breed of scoundrel would show up? How, how did he get here? Does he plan to go back to sea? Will there be more pirates? Do they really say stuff like army hearties and shiver me timbers? I'm just as hungry Francis as you are, dear reader. So I'll see if I can manage to interview a Jules Vale first pirate. Oh, he's trying. Alright. A juicy sex.
Oh, yikes. When you get it, you'll know. All right. I think I'm going to be... Squatting. Think. Oh, wow, then some rolls. Get out of here, smoke bomb. I don't need you. I got a fish and I got a pearl. Yeah. All right. Let's go feed. Here you go. Oh, it seems to be rewarding me. Ooh, amsidian. Oh, look at that. Grant's 10. And stamina. Right, where do I go? This way. Did I find everything? I think I did. Floor three, all right. Hey, Shelby. We're a shark guy now. Oh, no problem. Five, but ouch. This one sucks. <laughs> this one really sucks.
All right. I will eat the fish. There we go. Uh, hmm, should I fish? No, not yet. The Underground Bulletin. Entire neighbourhoods were shaken the other day by deep tremors, and the house of Mrs. McTormit went straight into a sinkhole. Mrs. McTormit and her seven pets, seven pet mum mudmos, are thankfully fine, but understandably frazzled. What caused this sudden shake-up? I'll give you one guess. Did you say Badgerco or Fleet? Either way, you're right. It turns out that Badgerco was doing some heavy-duty digging deep in the Jules Vale mines, and violating City Charter Provision 67A-14B, I might add. Our hero, Fleet, decided to take matters into her own hands and not only wrecked their equipment while it was operating, but assaulted one of the foremen. The result? Destabilized Earth and a whole lot of property damage. Who's going to repair it all? One of Badgerco's shell companies? Who's going to end up paying for it? All of us. To all you fleet sympathizers out there, kindly take her aside and explain to her what restraint means, please. I don't... <laughs> just imagine fleet's fan club. <laughs> Alright, where am I going now? Hmm... Literally going to take this so you can't. Hmm, alright. What moves do you have? We can print bite, that's a new one I think. Deals one damage. To an opponent's random stat on the next turn. Shoot, his speed's higher than mine. Well, not anymore. Oh, hang on a minute. Wait, no, think about this. Weaken me. It didn't go very well, but hmm, I'm kind of hurt actually. You're hearing the victory theme more, <laughs> yeah, I'm getting there. Um, I'm only uh, I'm very low on health though, <clears throat> so. This might 
end. Where can I go now? I will heal. I think this heals? Oh no, it's just stamina. Okay. Oh, I could really do with some health. Need to get you a doctor. Yeah. seen one though <laughs> I can't put dice back. Mm, all right. Hopefully this won't end up bad. Pick one. Bandage. Recover all your HP. <clears throat> Only once per battle. Alright. Ah! <laughs> Thank you. Ah! No! Ow! <laughs> um, hmm. Oh. Let's have a look at the other things first. Grants two accuracy die on the next turn after using a technique. I think I'll take the bandage. I'm not going to use it yet, though, because there might be a doctor just around the corner, and then I'd feel dumb. And there he is! Phew! <laughs> well done, you made yourself not look like an idiot. gonna be near the end now oh that bridge is broken though um fish sure I've got a fish Oh, can't keep him. Hang a scroll of endurance. Keep one of your dice until your next turn. I don't know if I need that. Ooh, choices, choices. I'll throw the fish back. Bye, fish. All right, where do I go?
I will bonk this boss on the head and then I'll probably call it an evening. If I can find him. No, I won't fish. Oh, this this doesn't look suspicious. Oh, go on then, I'll fish. Uh oh. <laughs> Bad idea. go well. There we go. Alright, what is this? Something's been activated around here. Oh, that bridge. Okay. Digging. Must have more Amsidian. You're committed to your cause. I'll give you that, matey. Dig through you! Avast! I'll cut you down first. Oh, he's holding on to that. Strategist. Locks up a die at the start of each draft. All right. Hmm. Oh, gold dice give you full defense. Oh. Always got a new move. Strong deals two damage. Uh-oh. That might not be good. All right, I used the bandage. <laughs> Just in case. Oh my god, these rolls absolutely suck. Alright. Uh...
<laughs> okay, well, guess I'm not slashing this round. The six, you greedy git. All right. Sorry, my friend. No dice. <laughs> Get it? No dice, because he couldn't. Never mind. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Take that for yourself, then. Hmm. Oh, that was a bad take, actually. I shouldn't have taken that. Oh, nine. Ow. <laughs> this might hurt. goggles oh hang on a minute gem of lightning quick minus one to opponent stat dice hmm Imitate that. Ooh, 
Big Shiny. This must be the drop of nourishment. And the little bauble, it feels powerful and expensive. I am in Jules Vale after all. What could it hurt to linger and line my pockets a bit more? <laughs> Okay. Champion unlocked. Hamia. His superb strength control grants him an exceptional flexibility through his stamina. All right. Do you know what? I think that's going to be it for me tonight. That was fun. Once I got into the rhythm of that, I was actually quite enjoying that. Um, I'm looking forward to continuing this. Um, but yeah, thank you for the recommendation, Mel. This this is actually a really fun game. I'm going to have to have to try this on uh, high difficulties. Ah. <laughs> no problem, Shobi. No problem at all. I'm definitely going to have to try this on the higher difficulties once I've finished it the first time. Because... Um, God damn, that music's good. That music's good. The artwork is really great. And um, yeah, I'm having fun. Mal knows games. Certainly does. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Who is online that I can do a raid to? I think Zap is probably doing his uh, doing his thing right now. So let's go pay Zap a visit. Yep. All right. Thanks very much, everyone, for hanging around tonight. It's been fun. I hope you all had fun, too. This is going to be me signing off for now. When I'll be back, uh, I don't know. But um, hopefully it'll be during the week at some point. We'll see. Um, I'll keep the schedule updated, I guess. But right, let's let's do Zappa Raid. Ah. I'm going to do Zappa Raid before I get things thrown at me. All right. Bye, every... Oh. No. No. All right. Bye, everyone. Take care. Have a great week. And see you later.